So what's going on guys, it is JM, it is Speedboxing, make sure you guys subscribe to this channel before you click onto any of the videos, also comment below in this comment section if you guys have any opinions in what I'm saying in any of my videos, like always it is appreciated if you guys could drop me a quick sub or two on my channel, so former WBC super middleweight and former WBO middleweight champion Nigel Ben, the Dark Destroyer is coming out of retirement at the age of 52 to face um, former WBO super middleweight champion Steve Collins both men have agreed to this fight and Steve Collins was the last fighter to fight Nigel Ben before Nigel Ben retired on his stool in the sixth round of that bout and then retired from the sport of boxing that was in 1996 both men had two fights Steve Collins winning both encounters stopping Nigel Ben in both fights Nigel Ben has said he wants this fight because of closure and he feels like he's in good enough shape even at the age of 52 and Steve Collins is in good, great shape as well because he trains fighters and he's always in the gym training with his fighters so at the end of the day do we really want to see Nigel Ben and Steve Collins be beating each other up in the 50s like both men have got enough money both guys have families I don't know why they would do this like I don't really see the point like Nigel Ben said, it's closure, but at the end of the day, do you really want to be getting in the ring in your 50s and knocking clumps out of each other? Because that is dangerous, in my opinion. Like, when you're in your 50s, your body's not as strong as it was when you're in your mid 20s and early 30s. So, I don't know why this fight is happening, but the British Border Control need, still need to sanction it. But both fighters have said if. The British Board of Control don't sanction it, then they'll get a license somewhere else. And somewhere, some fucking Board of Control will give these guys a license. I'm telling you now, you could go to fucking, I don't know, Luxembourg or wherever, and they'll give them a license. So, I don't know. If I was Conor Ben, Nigel Ben's son, then I'd just be saying, like, come on, like, why? Like, why would you do this? Like, but it is what it is. Nigel Ben's his own man. He's going to make his own choices. He trains alongside his son Conor Bren out in London most of the time. Well, he keeps himself in excellent shape. Nigel Ben for 52 years old, he regularly spars and stuff like that. So it is up to these guys at the end of the day. They're making their own choices and it's up to the British Board of Control now if they want to sanction the fight. So yeah, Nigel Ben, Steve Collins have agreed for a third fight. And if it's sanctioned, it looks like it's going to be happening in November of this year so yeah comment below your opinion on this do you think this is right do you think these guys should be coming out of retirement at their age are you like me don't you want to see this so yeah comment below in the comment section it's jay